Matt Kelty is now speaking out two days after he pleaded guilty to illegally reporting campaign contributions. One thing he didn't talk about was an explanation into his admitted dishonesty. News Channel 15's Megan Stemble has covered Kelty's legal proceedings for over a year now. Mm -hmm. What did he have to say today? Well, he stuck very closely to three major points he wanted to make. He said he admits guilt and he takes responsibility. He said he's sorry and he asked for forgiveness. With his attorney and his wife by his side, Matt Kelty took what might be his last opportunity to address the Fort Wayne community. To all those people who supported me in this campaign, and even to those who were my most persistent detractors, I, I wish to say I'm sorry. Kelty inspired a grassroots campaign in 2006 as he began a bid to become Fort Wayne's Republican candidate for mayor. The campaign built up steam and overcame a longtime area politician to take on Democrat Tom Henry in the general election. Kelty lost a seat amid allegations of a campaign finance cover-up. On Monday, with few of his supporters in the courtroom, Kelty pleaded guilty to three of the nine charges against him. I believe that the electoral process deserves better than I gave. He explained by saying at one time he was convinced the allegations against him were politically motivated. Eventually, though, he realized his shortcomings in reporting his campaign finances. The whole thing is not necessarily over. Two of Kelty's closest campaign contributors could potentially face charges as well. That would be unfortunate. So you're comfortable taking it all on your shoulders? I, I, I'm, I, I, I don't think it's fair to say I'm taking it all on my shoulders. I have pled guilty. Um, and I have accepted responsibility for, for my mistakes. Kelty's attorney Robert Gievers spoke Wednesday as well, saying Kelty and his family were strongly rooted and dedicated to the community. And I am convinced that over the rest of their lives in Fort Wayne in Northeast Indiana, this family will make a difference. Kelty has to serve 80 hours of community services punishment for his crimes. He said he will log his hours coaching football and serving on multiple community boards to fulfill that. Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.